day 128. In the Kharkiv region, the intensity of attack somewhat decreased. In the Derhachi direction, the Russians shelled heavily the region, but did not conduct any operation on the ground. When it comes to the village of Dementyevka, no further updates came out regarding the situation. The Russian sources suggest that this village is under their control, while the Ukrainian sources suggest otherwise. In the Stary Saltyev direction, the Russians also for the most part engaged their artillery and fired at the Ukrainian positions in Verkhny Saltyev. In the Balaklia direction, the Russians conducted an airstrike on the Ukrainian positions in the village of Mospanove. For that, the Russians engaged several helicopters K-52 that managed to successfully deliver the hit. In the east, there was active action in two out of four main directions. In the Slovensk direction, the Russians continue regrouping. While they were trying to improve their tactical position, the Russians shelled Dolina, Mazanyevka, Bogorodichne and several settlements nearby. Some sources also suggest that the Russians in Sidorov are preparing for an attack on Mayaki. However, so far, the region has been quiet. In the Kramatorsk direction, no active action took place. In the Lysychansk direction, a lot of changes have happened. The Russians have reportedly taken the Lysychansk oil refinery plant under their full control. From here, they are trying to improve their position by expanding in every direction, in particular northern direction towards the village of Zolotarevka, from where they can increase their control over the local roads even more. The Russians have also taken Malryazantseva and the fights broke out on the suburbs of Lysychansk. The situation here is very dynamic and a lot of things change all the time. So far, it is not possible to say which part of the town is under the Russian control because the control over the streets is going back and forth. The Ukrainian sources started to confirm that the Russians crossed the river and took a lot of ground to the north of Lysychansk. As of now, the Ukrainians are controlling Novodruzhsk and Shepilivka, which allows them to counter the Russian attacks and provide cover for the Ukrainian forces that are withdrawing from Lysychansk. These forces are still able to withdraw, but not without casualties, especially now, when the control over the oil refinery went to the Russians. Overall, the situation is very dire. Because a lot of Ukrainian forces left the area, those forces that are still in the Lysychansk area are fragmented and run the risk of being divided and taken in pockets. In order to give the Ukrainians in Lysychansk more time for withdrawal, the Ukrainians in Siversk are reportedly preparing an offensive operation. The Russians have already started shelling the Ukrainian positions in this region. In the Bakhmut direction, the Russians continue their offensive operation between the refinery and Barastove. Some sources suggest that they have some success in Spirne. The Russians also shelled Barastove, Yakovlevka and Vuhoyirska thermal power plant. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine also reported that the Russians took some action near Pokrovsk, but had no success. As we can see, the Russians here are increasing the intensity of their attacks as well. If you are against this war and want to support the work that I am doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbolics. You should also know that all products are shipped for free and on top of that you can get a 10% discount by using the code STOPWAR. The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next report.